All right. Well, I'm sorry you had that experience, Sydney, and I'm glad you, you know, you weren't alone in, in a public place, a crowded public place. But sometimes people are going to look at you for various reasons. They're going to look at you because they think you're pretty. Well, it wasn't like that. I don't like 40-year-old men staring at me. It's but you Storm trip was not fun. Why, Sydney? What happened? So I was walking with the shopping cart, and we were walking to check out, and this grown man just was walking behind me. Well, he was walking the opposite direction, so he was walking this way, and I was walking this way. And then he looked at me, and he like, and I looked at him, and he just looked at me up and down, and then he like, like just kept staring at me, and it was so freaky, and it was weird. And Bobby was laughing the entire time, like it was so funny, like. That, that was nowhere near funny. Like, that man could have followed us to the car and raped me. Like, it, I literally don't think it's funny. And she thought it was funny. She was like, you're never going to see that man in your life again. Like, you never know. Like, ugh. and then there was this weird black, like, black and brown, like, spider on the window. So, what do you mean a grown man? Was it like a, a teenager? No, he was probably like 30. Or, I don't know, 25? It was weird. Well, maybe he thought he knew you from somewhere. No, Mom, it wasn't that type of look. Bobby, what is your take on this? Bobby! Huh? What do you think about the look? Did you see him looking at Sydney, too? No. Did you see the guy? No. I think it's in your head. Stop. I'm just playing. I didn't say. I think was those people in those like white beaters. A white. I don't even know. You know those white shirts. Mm -hmm. I don't know what a white beat is. But they were like crackheads. Uh, what? They were like crackheads. They look like they did like drugs in the daily. But you just said you didn't see him. If if it's the person that I'm thinking of, then yeah, I saw them. But I wasn't paying attention like that. So. Well, I'm glad you weren't by yourself, Sydney. We, you I'm need never to take... going anywhere by myself again. I need pepper spray. I'm well, not Sydney, joking. You can't let people. Okay, hey, mom, that was scary. I'm, I was. I'm literally a 14 year old girl. Like that was not appropriate. Well, Cindy, you don't look 14. Maybe he thought you were beautiful. No, it's okay, not a... funny, Mom. You're taking I'm not laughing. I, I get looks all the time. Okay, but, Mom, it's different because you're older than me. Oh! Excuse it's me? It's not supposed to yeah. be an insult. You're it's old, different. Mom. You're old. This is different. You know what? Let's just stop this video. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. You don't like oh a day gosh, of this one. I wanted this because it has my name in it, but they spelled my last name wrong. What they do, EO? Yeah. Oh, that's a SMH. What's that mean, though? Smack my hoe. <laughs> do not put that in there. What? That's what I thought it meant. Smack, SMH? Smack my hoe. Why would you smack your hoe? I don't know. Why would I say SMH for that situation? I don't know. Shaking my head. Oh. Oh, I thought it meant it's like sm mm -mm -mm -mm. I thought it meant smack my hand. Girl. Smack my head. Please. I swear to God, that's what I really thought it meant. So, Sydney, should we insert a clip of your um, article? Your name is in there, Sydney? Is your name in there? Yeah, it's just spelled wrong. I started coming the summer of eighth grade year, and I came with two of my friends. So I started getting involved when I volunteered for stuff, and I went to Fort Beacon and Edge Camp, and I feel like Edge Camp really showed me that, like, the Lord's present presence is always there like 24 7 
just f having five days straight of praising God and getting closer to God and getting closer to the staff members and my leaders and the girls that are in my cabin and just meeting new people and jumping around and dancing and listening to Brian preach his sermon. Um, I just feel like it makes me want to go back every year and it was my first year going and I feel like God is calling me to just check on others and make sure that everything is okay because I know from personal experience we all have storms and I just feel like going to God for all of that stuff is really like a way to get out of it and my way to like disconnect from all of it is to go to church, like rebel base. Like when I walk in, I instantly feel loved in the presence of the Lord and everything. So I just feel like getting away from home and going to church and with all the people that I know are always gonna be there for me.